Hey, hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my hero build series. I am Sylphin. In today's video, we are taking a look at Feng Mao. I haven't played him in a while. Uh, to go along with his losing streak that we are in, I... He's a tough hero for me. They've made him much simpler uh, quite a few patches ago, mind you, but um, hopefully we get a good game today. And we're doing a build that I've called Addicted to Red. So, ladies and gentlemen, the theme of the build is probably obvious. It's focused around the red buff. And the card that uh, is all about that is, what's it called? Hinder Beast. While carrying red buff, on hit with basic attack, slow targets by 5% one and a half seconds gonna help him gank like a beast if we can actually get that card early enough which yeah, it's kind of it's kind of there and i tried to use the empyrean empyrean mask as well so that's where kind of those two cards here we're trying to use in a nice good fashion starting off with the health potion and two strike tokens to be honest with you here in this very first in in the beginning um, what I'm going to do here is explain why we just did that. I'm feeling like one Harvester Key or, um, or like a Brawler's Key right off the bat, it, it hurts you too much. Um, you know, the fully upgraded bonus is wonderful, but it doesn't, up, it, well, you have to fully upgrade it first in order for it to be, you know, useful for anything, right? So, uh, I'm, I feel like you can get more value out of a health potion and two strike tokens than you can out of a key. And what we're going to do is get to level three, see what happens in terms of ganks and stuff like that, um, and either go back at three card power, or if we have six, it'll be even better, go back and get a key and, uh, what, and stuff like that. Um, Whoa. Oh, okay, yeah, they're gonna switch. Good. Good communication there. Uh, the... I was gonna call him Gandalf. Gandalf, but, uh, the Gideon's gonna be able to lane much better against Nagy and Scorch than, uh, like, the Rex, and, like, Rex is gonna go in mid lane to deal with that. Um, Decker! Yeah, so, yeah, there's that. So, I'm, I, I'm going to see if... The, uh, if this is going to work better, if, um, getting a health push two strike down is gonna work, I think it will. I really think it will, to be honest with you. So for right now, I mean, we've killed two, um, uh, we've killed two camps. I'm really not going to be able to do anything against that, um, <laughs> gets a Murdoch right inside of his, uh, right inside of his, uh, tower. So we're just going to come over here. Very first ability we got was Conversion Shield. It gives you a 75 shield for two seconds. Why we got that first? Because it's going to help us sustain against these, um, these minion camps much more. Um, obviously, minimizing that damage that we that we uh, suffer will help us in the sustain department. So we can just get these camps. Period. That's really it. Second uh, second ability we went for was hamstring, and we got that uh, because of a the slow. It's going to help with these ganks here in this. In these, but the the uh, <laughs> Decker and Murdoch are very uh, pushed up, so really I can't do very much. These white camps are getting pushed, so I'm going to try to get this red camp by myself. Um, we're going to try to get it, but I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to, to be honest with you. Uh, something that's more complicated with Feng Mao, and I don't think I'm going to be entirely able to do it, is something called animation cancelling. Uh, it's, it happens where right after you connect with an ability, you are able to, so right here, I see that I anim animation cancelled, but I didn't actually hit um, with my ability. So right after you, right after you hit with the ability, you can use, or hit with your basic attack, you can use an ability to then kind of cancel out the last half of your basic attack animation, and then... Uh, follow that up with another basic attack. It, it, so you basically kind of get two basic attacks for the price of one. Kind of not really, but see. So we're... There! Ki kind of like that. So that you can use... Um, you can use abilities in rapid succession um, 
and get more DPS. That's, pre that's, uh, that's pretty much it. The ability that we are going to upgrade, though, is going to be our conversion shield. Uh, it pretty much it pretty much doubles your uh, it pretty much doubles the shield that you get. So again, sustaining from these minions is going to be significantly better, and it's going to mean that you can do more. To be honest with you, uh, at the moment, I would prefer to just go back, spend these ooh, this decker though. Uh, attack mid lane. I'm gonna try to see if we can do this. I am low on health though. Um, oh yeah. So let's try it. The Grex is going in. Um, let's see. If, let's see if I can get there in time. So I'm gonna save my mana here for the E, which is gonna be very very nice here. Gonna do this. Very nice. Yes. Perfectly done. Um, let's see. I'm gonna slow her down. Do this. And very very nicely done. Yeah. So there's the gank, and I have to make sure that I don't dink, don't uh, die myself in the gank here. So I'm going to stay here just for a six card power, um, which is going to be right there. And yeah, all right, so that, that's okay. Uh, really, the end of, we weren't given much of a ganking opportunity except right there in that left lane. So I'm going to go back and get a harvester key. We're going to get a harvester key first. Uh, the Brawler's key in our second slot. And you know what? I kind of want a ward first, just because those wards are really, really powerful. So we're going to do that first. We're going to do that first just because I want those wards. They are really important. Uh, we don't have any, so besides on the one on the right lane. So we're going to do that. We're not going to upgrade the Brawler's ward. I know that kind of goes against convention, right? You want that upgraded bonus, but we're going to try it. All right, so I'm going to try to animation cancel here. So let's see if I can do something like that. So there we go. There's a little bit of it. There's a little bit of it. So we're going to use my shield here. Oh, because they were, minions were attacking me. So, um, but yeah, that's, uh, that's basically the, the, the theme there. You kind of want to animation cancel as much as you can. Although it's, it takes a really good Feng Mao to do that. Um, I don't know, you have to, you just have to practice. And um, it's, it's tough. Oh, good. The Grux is coming here on this left lane here. So there, there's a little bit of it. There's a little bit of it. I'm going to use my shield here. Give me a little bit of uh, shield boost here. I'm going to use my ultimate just... Oh, and I miss, of course. Of course, I'm going to do this to get out. And okay. Hopefully that Grux can finish off that Decker. And we're going to go and plant some Harvesters because we haven't done that. We haven't been a good jungler. So we're going to come over here to get this harvester and go right lane, see if what we can do here. Uh, I feel like we are fairly strong, uh, but I don't have much mana, which is definitely going to be an issue here. Um, all right, let's, oh, let's, uh, let's see what we can do. The steel is there. I'm kind of worried. Um, uh, yeah, no. Not gonna be able to do very much there. So we're just gonna stay close. We're gonna stay close. See what can happen here. Um, somebody definitely needs to go left lane. Ooh, very nice. And left lane did get that. So let's go and see what we can do. I think they know that I'm here. I think they know that I'm here. Yeah, they do. Yeah. So they have a ward here. Oh, no, they don't. Okay. Uh, all right. So what I am going to do, though, is go and get this harvest key. I do want that. It is going to be important to get these uh, as fast as possible. We haven't really been doing that. Uh, it's at eight-minute mark. Probably should have gotten those earlier somehow. All right. We are up against this Chimera here. He's going to try to do his best against me, but you know think much is going to happen here. So I'm going to... Oh, very nice snipe. Thank you for the snipe and a little bit of health. You're just going to... But, uh, yeah. Hey! Awesome stuff. So I'm trying to focus on his uh, right click as well, um, but at this point it's doing quite a bit, so we're going to try to get rid of these guys as much as possible. And there we go. 
All right, so a little bit of gank that ganking there on the uh, on that chim on that chimera. We did get that chimera and digging scorch on uh, in, in this left lane. So yeah, thought I got that last hit there. So haven't been the best with the harvesters. I really just trying to I think do a little bit too much. I'm uh, trying to really make sure that I gank, but we really haven't at all. So I may have been a little bit too, you know, kind of on the fence, kind of just like watching, like looking for, for, for opportunities. Uh, but instead, you just have to go about your thing, and if you see the opportunities, you have to jump on it, rather than just sitting there waiting for it to happen. You're not really doing anything in the, in, in the interim. So we did get that harvester, so I am going to stick around for that 30 seconds to come up, and then I will go and get it. Um, let's see what's happening here. Where is that Ian Scorch? I don't want him to get it <laughs> after taking the time to, to do that. So there we go. Getting this or left Harvester now. The only one left is that Prime. I really do want to get as well. Six card power here going into the Brawler's Key. Uh, so we can finally fully upgrade the Brawler and Brawler's Ward and the Brawler's Key and going into a Flash Fire Piston. I feel like I'm kind of behind. Uh, this attack speed would actually be really, really good, but I kind of just want to go into these, you know, the Hinder Beast and this Empyrean Mask. Um, but let's stick with our build here. So Flash Fire Piston into Minor Kinetic. He has an extraordinary, an extraordinarily link. He has a very short, a very long, Base Ugh. Wow, Jesus. His basic attack has a very high cooldown. So any attack speed that you get for him, it really, really helps. It really, really increases his DPS. So I'm not too, you know, too worried of, uh, of if that, um, you know, if that uh, kinetic should, be, should instead be damaged versus... Um, versus versus uh, kinetic. I'm not really worried just because it is such um, a good thing to have. Uh, needs our wards here and a harvester as well here on the orb prime. So let's try to see if I can do that. I'm just gonna push this mid lane up just a little bit here, but somebody needs to come back. Our laners are not staying in lane, which is a bit of an issue here. Um, I know that Grux, uh, Grux is choosing to lane here, so which is not enabling me to rotate. Arguably, I think a Grux is maybe a better um, ganking hero, but especially in the hands of a proper Grux player. <laughs> but yeah, so mm. all right, we're gonna try to come in from behind here on this Decker and see what we can do. So, basic attack into this, into uh, that animation cancel, and uh, it looks like that worked there. But as you can see, she's uh, a bit tanky. So let's try to come in on... Here we go. Hello. Um, this. Yeah, there we go. Use this on the Chimera. I did hit him good. Oh, come on. Oh, fuck's sakes, the, key, the Reaping Dash doesn't go through the wall? I mean, I guess it kind of makes sense, but God. Not able to do that. Sorry for the curse words, guys. Um, I'm going to say on my way left here, coming on this. Uh, Murdoch, great job on that enemy Chimera um, getting away. So let's see if I can do anything on this Murdoch. I don't think so. Yeah, he probably was he's probably smarter than I'm gonna give him credit for and just Yeah. He's going away here. Good job on like Gideon. We have six card power, so I'm actually going to uh it's harvester and we'll go back. Spend the six card power. Alright, so hey, that at least worked out. Um Tech left lane. Need some help. Alright. Well, let's try. Uh, the, the tower is almost dead, so I could actually maybe come in on this Murdoch here. Alright, so I'm going to go straight for the tower. And, um... Okay. There we go. 
Okay, so I thought I, may, I maybe. Um, I, so I, I thought maybe I, I, I would be able to, uh, you know, come in from behind on him, but I think so. Okay, I don't have any wars, so I don't really want to dive too hard into this enemy jungle, but so there, I'm trying to animate animation cancel here. Um, if you can see, it's um, a little bit of an ex exploit. Let's see if I can get it for you guys and showcase that for showcase that to you really nicely. Um, but they're in a really good position to collapse in on us, so I'm not going to I'm not going to flank from the enemy side. I'm going to come back over here. Try to maybe come in on the side from this way. Uh, so my target really should be. Oh, I think the Decker is going to have some yeah nice. And the Igan Scorch. Ooh, the Igan Scorch is actually really quite not tanky here. So let's um, do this. Do this into a. Oh my goodness! That was really bad. That was really bad. That was a uh, astronomically bad. Yeah. All right, Flash Fire Piston, I'm gonna finish this off. Six card power after this. Then we go into our Empyrean Mask. Uh, what that is going to do is give us the option of switching between damage, physical armor, or mana regen. So if we're jungling a lot, using our abilities, we can get that mana regen. If we're, uh, maybe need that, maybe, maybe uh, need that armor instead of the damage, switch to that, etc. We go for the Hinder Beast in the sixth slot. See if we have any one point upgrades. No. All right. So that looks like it. That after the uh, hinder beast is going to be the thunder cleaver. An enemy tower yeah, thunder attack. cleaver here in the fourth Allied slot. It's going to give us even more cleave and a nesh and and even more burst as we can use that active to really really uh, let me get some more damage off on the enemy team. All right, here comes the lane wave here. Let's see if I can quickly burst down this. Here we go, I'm gonna have to bring my shield. There we go. And maybe I shouldn't have done that. So let's try to dive into the jungle here and get away. Hello, Steel. Don't think you're gonna be able to do very much against me. Especially when he has a burst like this. Where's that Chimera? He's not following. Um, Ah, uh, damn, I should have saved it. Yeah, so that is a is an example where I should have saved my teleport for a moment when, um... For when I know that, that Steel is going to use that charge so I can just go after him. Damn. Alright, so let's go and defend mid lane as that I think is built up in the enemy's favor. So... Uh, no, it's not. Okay, no, it's not. So we can... Uh, kind of anime to cancel there. Um, so let's get these harvesters, make sure that we stay on top of those for a friendly team. There's that Gideon going mid lane. All right. All right. So, so far it's, it's all right. So far it's all right. Um, one, the way how you tell what the Empyrean mask is doing is by the, um, by the thing on, uh, his, so there you go. So you can see right now we have it as uh, damage, and if we click it, you can see right in right in the middle above our health bar, uh, there is some energy barrier and physical armor, and then so we have some mana regen here. So you can see that there's different things going on. So I'm going to switch into damage so we can get this damage off on these minions as they're really not going to be doing too much damage to us at this point. So let's do that, and let's maybe come in on this deck of good near board, wanted to place it up high, but not there. So we don't have the most damage on the, or most health on the planet, but there's that Chimera coming over. Don't really want to give him that. So let's get uh, this blue camp here in very nice, and uh, three, so just retreat, just retreat, I'll be there in a moment, um, Kwong. Yeah. All right. So it's so far it's it, so far it's going oh, it's going okay. Um, I would prefer to maybe um, prefer to maybe 
have a bit more health at the moment, but I think I'm just not doing a very good job of, uh, yeah, so, there we go, I'm gonna do this one. Oh, yes, monster engagement. Let's use this on two, uh, damn, all right. So I thought we'd be able to, uh, secure, secure that steel there. But the enemy team, your friendly team's not following our... Yeah, so yeah, no, that, that was fine. Um, Alright, so that gives me the okay to uh, retreat here and just go back. Get some, uh, get some more get some more card points. Ten card power, ladies and gentlemen, after the uh, Hinder Beast. Actually going to work well, because I wanted some health, and we get it. So I'm going to go for that and then the Thunder Cleaver here. In the fourth slot. There we go. Whole bunch of kinetic is going to be really, really nice after that. So the Berserker Drive here replaces our weak flash fire piston. And you know what? I'm okay doing that here. Uh, what I do want, though, is a little bit more. Mm, let's see. I kind of. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah. Let's get some more damage here, just because I think that's going to be uh, the better. I think that's going to be better in the DPS department. Um, but he does have a really slow attack speed. No, let's get some. Let's let let's do this. It's not going to be the end of the world. <laughs> so uh, we're going to do that. All right, we totally destroyed the enemy's chimera here. It looks like we'll be able to get this. I'm gonna I'm gonna engage here on the. Um, Shit, I should have said my Q! Ah, wanted to really engage, but again, I'm not thinking of what the enemy is going to do in response to me. And I think that it really would have would have been better there if I just, just thought for a moment. And there we go, there's a little bit of animation cancel on the steel. Although, for some reason he is uh, doing a fair amount of damage while being tanky as well. So I think he just has a very successful build. Um, man, I, yeah, I do need to think more. I need to use his Q as much more of a situational, um, oh, and the Drex is going for the steel. Okay, uh, good, okay, he, he chose to go away. Okay, so, um, I could be maybe using the Imperian Mask a little bit better. Um, there was a, there was a point, uh, a moment there when we were just kind of sitting in Decker's fence taking damage, and I could have switched over to that. And I've just gotten, um, yeah, better use from that ability. Uh, the steel here, I do want to zone for our team here. Um, let me get ward there. Let's um, switch it to some uh, armor and stuff. But what's our team doing? What's our team doing? What's our team doing? Going all over the place. Um, really, we should just be focusing on team fight. Okay, there we go. Okay, so I'm going to switch to damage here. Try to nail down this. Do this here. Try to get away. Holy smokes! Wow! Holy smokes! Just completely decimated. I did engage there with little to no health, so I really probably shouldn't have done that. Um, damn. Oh, guys, just kill that steel so low. Um, let... Good ultimate from the Gideon. There we go. Um, I'm gonna try to get my team to attack right lane as that minion wave is pretty big, so that'll be, that'll work nicely. A whole bunch of kinetic. Uh, it's not going to work that way in the math department, so unfortunately we have to leave that um, leave that B and go into this Berserker Drive with all of this damage. So let's do that. Major Strike. <sighs> it's two card powers really kind of messing things up here. Um, well, not much we can really do. Don't have any, uh, we do have that vicious kinetic we could go into maybe square st stuff up, but nope. Just gonna have to wait. Here's a little skirmish happening here in the mid, in the mid lane. I do have red buff though, so we are using the the. Um, do this. 
look at that, totally deleted from the battlefield. Uh, worked pretty well. It did work pretty well, but look at that steel will get away. So I'm actually going to go after this Chimera. I kind of want to try me, me versus that Chimera with a red buff, although it looks like we're going to not have it here. So we're converging on the Chimera. Uh, he's trying to sneaky here. Seal the Kwong. Oh, very nicely done. There we go. Yep, cheese. That's okay. Fine with that. Oh. Yeah, totally taken down. And uh, a little bit, a little bit of more damage than I would maybe like. But uh, let's go up in here on this again. Scorch. Put switch our Empyrean mask over to some um, some armor and stuff. But I think that I should really ooh, very nicely done. I'm gonna come in over here on this again. Scorch. I'm gonna do this. I'm use my ultimate. There we go. And see if I can survive here on the steel. No. Oh, where's the Murdoch? Oh, I'm being sneaky up on top there. I should I should have maybe went for him. The Egan Scorch is. Yeah, he is. Uh, oh, the Tomb Barrier, though. Mm. All right, so is that Murdoch a squishy, stupid squishy, mur squishy Murdoch? Yeah, he is. So the Mur Murdoch's going to be my priority then the Egan Scorch, but maybe the Chimera should be first, just so he he doesn't. Um, you know, go all nice and, well, super duper crazy strong. So let's finish off with the Brutal Kinetic, but boy, do we have some uh, damage that we need. So let's actually do that. We have the Guardian's Ward, going to replace our Brawl, or the uh, Brawler's Ward for a little bit of health and damage, and then the Wind Carver Blade replacing our key. I'm going to do that now simply just because we um, don't need that, uh, we don't need that, um, yeah, those, those keys anymore. Uh, I would like to do this, but um, we don't have enough to do damage in order for the math to work. So, and that cooldown reduction ain't really all that important. So let's go here for the major strike instead. Could maybe get this brawler's board in here. Let's see, let's do this. Over here, still need that damage. Four, yeah, so let's do this. Oh, the two strike over here. Now that we have the full build here, we just need to upgrade some key cards, get some of these fully upgraded bonuses going. And now, build should be coming together. All right, we're on the hunt for this Chimera, and I think that I can. Hello. Do this, we use our shield here. Um, I'm going to, oh, yep, jeez. Let's try to see if we can. Oh, very nicely done. Yeah. Fantastic. I'd use my shield, but no. The shield's not there to save, spare me from some of this damage um, against the enemy team. So we do have Thunder Cleaver for a little bit of burst uh, of damage that we can activate. So I do need to remember that uh, when I am in these engagements. Because um, it will help against somebody like that Chimera, who we want to kill as fast as possible so he doesn't have that... Um, Ooh, yes, I want to get closer. Here we go. Let's try to animation cancel. Let's tell. Oh, but I'm just gonna stay here, let him die, and uh, no, try not to take too much damage. Very nicely done. And we can push this um this lane. I'm going to. Oh boy. I'm gonna go back. Uh, low health. Don't want to give them too much of an advantage here. Oh, Celestial Health. I would really, really like that, um, but I'm not going to get it. So I'm going to get that Major Strike in there. Um, and then I'll try to get that that Celestial Health, just because I really feel like that's going to be important. So I think 400 Health would be a nice, nice buffer that would, I think, put us, kind of kick us kick us to, to the next level. Just keep us alive a little bit more. Um, enable us to do our thing all right so a little bit of a fight here over or prime let's see if we can save our Kwong no so for out of nowhere we had a numbers advantage and it's turned into nothing
Alright. Yeah, buddy, we activated that. So, uh, let's try not to hit a bunch. Let's do this into the Murdoch. So I want his number. Look at that, 205. Holy smokes. That is some damage here. I'm going to try to protect our Murdoch here. Oh, Q, come on. Oh, very nicely done. We have a whole crap ton. We're going to use our ultimate into our... There we go, baby. Yeah, so good. Good steal there. <laughs> um, a good steal of the Orb Prime from the enemy team. We have blue and red. This tower is definitely going down. Um, although the Scorch is coming, so let's um do this into our shield. Holy smokes! Completely decimated! Wow! Um, that was incredible. The Murdochs definitely, obviously, um, completely destroyed them as well. So we should be able to get this in inhibitor, no problem. I might die. I don't know. Why not to, so. Trying to kill them. Alright, so here we go. Ooh, come on. Oh, yeah, look at that. Totally decimated. We might be able to kill the core. Let's see. Um, let's see if we can. Holy smokes! Wow, that damage on the enemy core! Holy smokes! Hey, pretty good build. I like it so far. I really would have liked liked to have that uh, Celestial Health on the Guardian's Ward um, much earlier. Much, much earlier. Um, who was chuckling there? That was a Grex ch chuckling away. That was, that was pretty cool. Oh, hey, finally, we win. It feels good. We fought for it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I I certainly should could, could have definitely played better. Um, but hey, hey, we won. Let's take a look at the build. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here is the build. Start off with your health health potion and two strike tokens. I agree with that. Um, but go back when you have three card power or, you know, if you get a great gank or something and you end up with six card power, that's fine. That's, that's fine. So, uh, but go back at three card power and get your brawler's key uh, because we went way too long without uh, those harvesters in, the, in that early game. So go back, get your heart brawler's key uh, followed by these upgrades. Um, and then get get the brawler's ward with, with these upgrades uh, be really really nice that mana is actually quite important uh he's fairly mana intensive especially when you start doing your you know your burst combos you know coming on on the enemy basic attack into uh animation cancel blah 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 you need that mana after the brawler's ward then we go into a flash fire piston now i really kind of just want to go straight into this hinder beast to be honest with you, uh, just because that slow, when you do have the red buff, is going to be best utilized when you're ganking. Most ganks happen, kind of, uh, in, in that early game, so I'm kind of torn between either the flash, piston, flash fire piston before the, flat, the hinder beast, and you know what, I'm going to say, yeah, let's get the hinder beast after the brawler's ward, but, um, up, I'll, I'll, we'll say upgrade, upgrade later. We're going to save that four point celestial health for later. And then after this uh, hinder beast, then you go into the flash fire piston for that very nice little bit of attack speed, 20, whatever that is, 22% attack speed. It's really going to help, really going to help. He has a slow as balls attack speed, so really, really helps. After the flash fire piston, then we get the... Empyrean, Empyrean, Empyrean mask. Uh, that's really going to help. I, you know, I, I think that physical armor and energy armor, um, probably going to be maybe the best 
option out of all of them. We have pretty... We aren't very tanky with this. Uh, we do have, again, that Celestial Health and Celestial Health here, and then the Guardian's Ward with the other 100, etc, etc. Um, so maybe when I had that, so what is that? That's 1,000 extra health. You know what? Yeah. It's, it's really up to you. I'm not too familiar with how the Empyrean Mask plays, how it feels, so you're gonna have to tr try that out yourself. Obviously, 20 physical damage and energy damage is really nice, but um, physical armor as well. Physical energy armor is gonna work nicely. After the Empyrean Mask, we're going for the Thunder Cleaver uh, for that in increased, where is it? Increased uh, cleave. He already has a high amount of cleave, so you're going to be able to decimate camps, decimate lane waves, and of course in team fights, deal even more damage. So I think I think it's better than than you would think. That active, once you uh, fully upgrade that with all of that kinetic, just helps with a burst. So you can burst down somebody really, really quick um, and kind of annihilate them like nobody's business. After the Thunder Cleaver, go into the Berserker Drive or a whole bunch of strike and kinetic as well. The cooldown reduction, I think, is it, 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 it's a good one for Fang Map because you want to use a little, uh, you know your stuff a little bit faster. Five percent, hey, definitely not going to hurt. After the Berserker Drive, we go for the Guardian's Ward. That's uh, where we get some some strikes and some even more health. Again, if you need that health sooner, like we did, don't hesitate to switch out your Brawler's Ward for the Guardian's Ward and get that health sooner. Just don't hesitate, you know. Um, you'll get six for the Brawler's Ward, so you can get the, Guardi the Guardian's Ward and that Celestial Health if you have one kind of ling one lingering card power like we did. Definitely could have got that much sooner. After the Guardian's Ward, then we go into the Wind Carver Blade that replaces our Brawler's Key um, there in the late game. I have done the math. I, it might seem like there's a crap ton of Kinetic, but with all of the damage that we get... Um, on the build from the Wind Carver Blade, the Guardian's Ward, the Berserker Drive, right? Um, and from the Imperium Mask, I did take that into account. Um, it is the right amount. Trust me, it is the right amount to have the highest DPS uh, possible. There is a situation though that if you just die really quick and you can only get three basic attacks off, well, attack speed's only gonna really make you have four, which Having three incredibly strong basic attacks that are slow might, in fact, be better than four weak ones, weaker ones. But the DPS says, math says this. So there you guys have it. There's a build. Let me know down in the comments what you think about Addicted to Red, Fang Mao. Please like the video if you like it, dislike if you dislike it, share with the community, of course, subscribe. If you found this content helpful or simply enjoyed it, please subscribe so we can do it for you later. Like always, stay optimistic and positive.